y'all so we're here at Roosevelt Lake this isn't where we planned to be we came out today to go to Apache to pre-fish for the night tournament this weekend uh, we pulled up to Apache Road at 4 in the morning and then we pulled up to a road closed sign that said the road isn't opening till 7 a.m. so I could have sat there and waited till 7 a.m. I could have turned around and went home, or I could have turned around and launched at Roosevelt. And we're gonna see if we can get on a bite. But this is what fishing about, and this is what life's about, man. You know, you gotta adapt. You gotta roll with the punches. Um, I'm not gonna let it discourage me that Apache Lake was closed, and hell, I might, at 7 a.m., I might load up and still go check it out, because I've never been there and have a tournament here this weekend. But anyway, let's see if we can get on a good day here at Roosevelt. I haven't been here. He had it again and he ripped my worm off. All right. There he is on the Texas rig. Might have found a little group of them. That's a strong fish. Be careful at Roosevelt with these fish because they'll get you up in the trees down there. Oh yeah. There he is, long guy. He's all deflated. He's probably like 18 inches though. All right, caught that guy on a Texas rig with my favorite color Senko, green pumpkin blue. Got about a uh, quarter ounce weight, and they chill up in these trees. I mean, Roosevelt's just one big flooded forest. Forest, so they're up in the trees. So I just drag this Texas rig through them and wait for that thump. All right, guys, we're about to get out of here. We're, at, we're still at Roosevelt at Windy Hill. We're throwing around a little drop shot for a little bit. All right, here we go. Back to the boat, man. Alright guys, so after a little fumble this morning, 
It's eight o'clock and we're on the water at Apache. We caught two fish over at Roosevelt, got a couple more bites. So we turned what could have been a wasted few hours into a couple fish. And now we're over here at Apache feeling like a, a lost child. I have no idea where I'm at, what I'm looking at, what's in front of me. There's nobody out here. It's pretty awesome. It's just me and you guys. But right now, before we try to find different patterns, I just want to catch some fish. So we're going to throw a drop shot and see where these fish live, because this is the only day that we're going to get to pre fish before our third one. Oh, terrible net job. He ain't huge, but he's our first fish from Apache. There he is. He's all bloodied up, but I don't know what's going on with him down there. He got an STD or something. Expectations are always low for me when going to a new place, because if you guys are from Arizona, which I'm sure 99% of you are if you're watching this, especially if you're listening to this part, if you're from Arizona, you know Bartlett Lake is a place where you can go and catch a bunch of fish and it's where you take beginners. But I remember when I started fishing, I skunked there my first couple times. So I always keep that in my mind as a reminder of when I'm going to a new place, I always have low expectations because um, even an easy lake, your first time, could be difficult to break down, especially in a kayak where you're limited as far as how far you can go. Yeah, this is a pretty one. Yeah, let's go, baby. New lake and we're on some fish. That's a great feeling, guys, to find some fish on a lake you've never been to and start catching them. Oh, God, what a day it's already turned out to be, man. And to think we got turned around today at 4 a.m. These guys are all bloodied up, man. They must be spawning. I don't know. There he is. That's probably two and a half, two, three quarters. One more cast this way and then we're going to keep it moving and then watch we're going to end up catching a fish and stay here for another 20 minutes all right time to keep it moving we had a plan to pedal two miles up from where we launched and fish our way back but as today has proven sometimes the plan doesn't work out and sometimes that's for the best all right, guys, we're figuring out how to catch these fish. Look at that guy. I was gonna get a weight on him, but he looks like he's like three and three quarters. So he's having trouble breeding. Let's get him back in the water. You find your way from here, buddy? Good luck. There it is, that's what we're using. This is what's been biting me all day. It's a pretty little guy. Green sunfish, I believe. I've been getting bit by those little bluegill or green sunfish every cast. So that time I just, I just let him keep biting it until I was sure he had it, the whole thing in his mouth. We got what feels like a decent one. Well guys, I think it's safe to say we found a pattern. It's summertime and we're drop shot in main lake points. What a surprise. This guy's not huge, but he's healthy, man. Look at these fat little guys, man. This guy's probably two, two and a quarter pounds. There he is, and there he is. It's so quiet out here.
can hear every fish that jumps. Well, that was a weird catch. They got little guys in here too, apparently. Wow. Hey, these little guys are the ones that'll get you, man. Look at that monster, future 10 pounder. All right, guys, we're about to officially let this wind drift us back. Now, it's not every day that it happens like this where you got a wind at your back in the morning and a wind at your back in the afternoon. Now that I said something, I'm sure it'll switch to right in my face, but. For now, it's gonna help this drift right back to where we started. There's one. We're not gonna play with this guy. Oh. Whoa! He almost hit the GoPro, that was crazy. See if we can land this guy. Jesus. Man, these guys pull, man. These guys really pull. Come on, dude. You're in nothing huge, but there he is, a little guy on the drop shot. This guy's a dinker. I have a bass on but my line is tangled right up in this tree. I'm gonna try to float towards it and get it. The bass is swimming at me. What the hell is going on here? Oh, okay. I'm gonna hand line him. Oh my God, it's one of the best ones of the day. Okay, okay, fucking shit. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what to even show you guys, but my line is wrapped all the way around my boat. Okay, this is one of my most ridiculous catches, dude. <laughs> Thank you guys. Anyway, like I was saying, the wind gets the crankbait back going. I mean, these afternoon winds in the summer, 
several times I've been able to pick up a crankbait, find some rocks, and catch some bass. When it gets real windy like this, I use a really loud crankbait. Right now, right now I'm throwing a Berkeley Dredger, but like a Strike King 5XD would work too, or a 6XD, whatever you like, however deep you're fishing. End the day with a dink. This little point is, they're, they're on this point, so. Oh, he came off, we gave him with a quick release. Hey, yeah, I don't want to end it on a, on a lost fish. All right, last cast. I'm not going to lose this one. Oh my god. <laughs> what a terrible net job. Come on. Whoo -wee. What a day. There he is. These fish have been getting smaller as the day gone on. Alright, that was our last cast. So let's get back to the dock. Guys, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like the video. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. Um, hopefully the next video I have put out for you guys is uh, me winning this tournament that I was pre-fishing for today. So thanks again. See you on the next one.